Hello students, today we will study unit number 2 AC circuit in which we are going to discuss one topic which is measurement of power in three phase system or in three phase circuit. So in this video we are going to discuss one method which is one watt meter. That means with the help of one watt meter how we can measure the power of three phase system or three phase circuit. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So as for example, supposing one system is given to you in which this type of one load is given. So that is your load and that load is connected with supply. So that will be your supply and that supply we will say that it is your single phase AC supply. Okay single phase AC supply and if you want to find out the power of the system then what you can do so you will take one volt me watt meter and then you will find out the power now question may arise that what is watt meter so watt meter means what that is such a device which is used to measure the power of the system okay and its unit is what its unit is watt okay now question may arise that how watt meter will measure the power. So for that purpose in the watt meter basically two coils are there. So over here I will write it has two coils. First coil is known as current coil and uh, next coil is known as pressure or more specifically we can say voltage coil pressure coil you can say or voltage coil you can say now pressure coil will do what that pressure coil will measure the current i in ampere and uh, sorry current coil will do what it will measure the current i in ampere and pressure coil will do what it will measure the voltage v okay now we know very well that power is equals to what v into i cos phi is not necessary over here so V and I if you multiply you will get the answer of power in terms of watt. Okay. Now question arise that with the help of these two coils how we can find out the power of the system. So remember one thing that whatever current coil is there that is always connected in series with the load. So whether it is your three phase circuit or single phase circuit always current coil is connected in series with the load and whatever pressure coil or voltage coil is there that is always connected parallel with the load that is also for three phase and for single phase so that must things you have to remember which one current coil is connected in series pressure coil or voltage coil is connected parallel with the load now how let us check okay so we have one watt meter it has one current coil which is connected in series with the load so that is your load so over here i will connect what one uh, current coil like this that is your current coil so i will write cc means current coil in series with the load now pressure coil is connected parallel with the load so parallel means what over here that is what that is your pressure coil so i will write pc pressure coil and pressure coil is connected with what parallel with the load so that is your parallel connection now that connection you will provide like this also that is also parallel but as per the textbook we can connect like this so parallel of potential difference across three this this two terminal is exactly equals to potential difference across this two terminals okay now current coil and potential coil will construct what with will construct one watt meter so that is our watt meter in which current coil will measure the current pressure coil will measure the voltage so p is equals to vi so that we can find out the power of this system now that is all about the story of single phase ac supply that with the help of one watt meter we can measure the power of single phase ac supply now we want to find out the power of three phase ac system or circuit so for that purpose again procedure is same current coil is connected in series with the load and pressure coil is connected parallel with the load but instead of that i will write one sentence which is also same or i will write that pressure coil is connected between line and 
न्यूट्रल सो नीड नॉट टू कंफ्यूज बोथ ऑफ दी थिंग्स आर सेम हाउ लेट एस चेक सो फॉर दैट पर्पज वी विल टेक थ्री लोड सिस्टम सो ओवर हियर आई विल ड्रॉ वन लोड ओके देन नेक्स्ट ओवर हियर आई विल कनेक्ट विथ सेकेंड लोड ओके नेक्स्ट लास्ट आई विल टेक लास्ट लोड दीज थ्री लोड्स आर कनेक्टेड इन स्टार ओके सो दैट इज सपोज जेड जेड एंड जेड ऑल थ्री लोड्स आर इक्वल दैट मीन्स रिमेंबर वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट द वन वॉट मीटर मैथड इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर द बैलेंस्ड सिस्टम बैलेंस सिस्टम मीन्स वॉट ऑल लाइन करेंट्स ऑल फेज करेंट्स आर सेम ऑल लाइन वोल्टेजेस आर सेम एंड ऑल फेज वोल्टेजेस आर ऑल्सो सेम ओके नाउ दिस फर्स्ट लोड to that first load we will supply the current with the help of one line conductor so over here we are supplying the current with the help of one line conductor so that is your line 1 you can say from the say r phase similarly to the second load we will supply the current with the help of one uh, line conductor so that is what that is your line number 2 suppose and that supply we are providing for y phase and similarly to the uh, third and uh, third load we will supply the current with the help of one line conductor from the b phase so that is your line okay now uh, we have one watt meter in that watt meter current coil is connected in series with the load so that load i will select any load you can select so in series means what you can say so over here i will draw like this that is current coil c c okay next is what that pressure coil is connected with what pressure coil is connected between line and neutral okay so that point is known as what neutral okay now i will draw the neutral also that is neutral for your easiness between line and neutral so that is line and that is neutral so over here i will connect that uh, pressure coil that is pressure coil i will write pc now that connection you can provide to neutral also that is potential difference across three two two terminal parallel you can say or for easiness We will connect with neutral. So, what does it mean? That whatever pressure coil is there, that is connected between line and neutral or parallel with the load. Okay. Now, that is current coil. That is pressure coil. That will create what? That will create one watt meter. So that watt meter will provide some reading of power. Say W is the reading of power. Okay. So now. that is the power of a single phase and total three different phases are there r y and b so if you want to find out the total power total power so how you can find the total power i will write total power is equals to 3 into why i am writing 3 because three phases are there 3 into what i can say that multiply with power in each phase power in each phase means what power in single phase one phase multiply with 3 so that you will get the total answer why because that circuit is balanced so in each and every phase same power would be there so which is equals to total power equals to 3 multiply with power in each phase that is given by the watt meter reading so i will write power in each phase is equals to a 3 into watt meter reading so that is the equation to find out the total power with the help of 1 watt meter now imp important thing is what that this type of method we can use for star connection why because generally star connection having uniform load or you can say that is a balanced system and if you will find try to find the uh, whatever power for the delta connection then you can never find why right? because delta connection having unbalanced system so that a uh, 1 watt meter is only applicable for what for the balanced system and applicable for what only for star connection not for the delta connection as delta connection having unbalanced load so that is all about the story of 1 watt meter in the next video we'll discuss about the another method of the watt meter so now i would like to end this video till then read hard work hard thank you very much